If nothing else, heavy duty has at least caused bodybuilders to start thinking. No longer do bodybuilders accept someone's training routines or diet regimen just because he has won some titles. We know by now that in the great majority of cases, it's a superior genetic predisposition that was responsible for the develop development of most champions. But let's go further than questioning any one individual's training practices and go right to the foundation of conventional training. Most of us train according to tradition, convention, and imitation. It is a well-known point at this time that intensity of effort is the single most important factor influencing the rate of skeletal muscle growth. Muscular effort imposes a stress on our muscles and overall physical systems, which causes us to adapt to that particular stress by developing larger and stronger muscles. And as we adapt to a certain level of training stress, such as a beginner on a basic conventional routine by growing and getting stronger, increasingly higher levels of stress are required if we desire to continue progressing. Continuing to perform tasks or lift weights that are already well within our existing capabilities will do little, if anything, to stimulate progress. Muscular growth, you must realize, is a defense against the stress of intense muscular effort. And muscular growth will cease when the effort you are generating in your workouts is no longer intense enough to threaten the body sufficiently to cause it to defend itself. That may sound a little technical and theoretical, but I think it makes sense when you think about it. For the beginner, almost any type of training is stressful enough or intense enough to induce adaptation through size and strength increases. Going from no training at all to any type of training even a low or moderate intensity type represents a dramatic increase in the stress intensity that the beginner's body is normally exposed to on a day-to-day -day routine basis. And for a while, this will cause him to progress. Merely by adding weight to his exercises and by resting for shorter periods of time, that is doing the same workout in less time, the beginner and intermediate bodybuilder will progress. As the beginner progresses, however, and the intermediate bodybuilder, to a more advanced stage by, by adding muscle, the formula becomes more and more complex due to the changes in his physiology that attend muscular growth. The larger your muscles get, the greater become the demands imposed on your body's resources and reserves during these intense muscular contractions. Physiologists have discovered that the average individual has the capacity to increase his strength and hence his ability to generate intensity by some 300% while his ability to recover from intense stress, on the other hand, only increases by 50%. So, as we get bigger and stronger, the likelihood of overtraining increases dramatically. Many bodybuilders, or most bodybuilders, however, pursue a type of training that is just the opposite of the way it should progress. Rather than increase the intensity of their effort and reduce the duration of their effort as they progress, they do just the opposite. They decrease the intensity of their effort and prolong the duration of their effort. In other words, as they continue to progress, they think they have to make their workouts longer and longer. And invariably, what has to happen, because of the nature of the relationship between intensity and duration, the intensity decreases and their, their progress slows down or comes to a halt altogether.